short-run Phillips curve. The short-run Phillips curve shown in this graph on the left is the mirror image of the short-run aggregate supply curve here in the ASAD graph. Notice as aggregate demand increases, do you notice that you go from one point on the short-run Phillips curve to another point on the Phillips curve? That's just like going from one point on the short-run aggregate supply curve to another point on the short-run aggregate supply curve. And so the short-run Phillips curve is the mirror image of the short-run aggregate supply curve. Notice as aggregate demand increases, the quantity supplied in the short run increases and you go from one point here to another point here just like you're doing on the mirror image which is the short run Phillips curve from one point here to a higher point as aggregate demand increases. As aggregate demand decreases, notice you go from one point on the short run aggregate supply curve to another point on the short run aggregate supply curve. And so that as aggregate demand decreases, you go from one point on the short run Phillips curve to another point on the short run Phillips curve. Notice as employment increases on the aggregate supply aggregate demand graph because real GDP is increasing, unemployment is going down on on the short run Phillips curve and inflation is going up. Notice as aggregate demand decreases here, employment is going down on this aggregate supply aggregate demand graph, but unemployment is going up on the Phillips curve, going from this point here to this point here. Again, the short-run Phillips curve is a mirror image of the short-run aggregate supply curve. If aggregate demand increases or decreases, this changes the point of unemployment and inflation on the short-run Phillips curve. As aggregate demand increases along the short-run aggregate supply curve, notice that inflation rises, unemployment goes down. As aggregate demand shifts to the left, notice that unemployment rises and the inflation rate falls.